Are you considering living full-time in a small living space like an RV? Whether it's due to the desire for a simpler lifestyle or the need for flexibility or just the love of adventure, living in an RV can be an amazing lifestyle, but are there are things to consider while living in a small space together? All the time. All the time. 24-7. 365 days a year. And like this year, 366 due to leap year. But today we want to talk about something that's very important for those of you that are living in an RV or a small space. It's how to maintain a healthy relationship. So how do you make the most out of this compact living situation? Let's find out. We have been living in our RV for the past two years in this small space. And if you don't know who we are, I'm Deb. I'm Joel. Our dog Maya is down here and we are chasing our sunshine. Living in an RV with your significant other can be an amazing experience, but it definitely comes with its challenges. We have been in our RV full time for two years. We're both retired law enforcement, married for 22 years this April. And this is our dog Maya, who's spoiled rotten, and we have no kids. Our RV is a 2018 Tiffin Allegro 33AA, and it has about 400 square feet of living space inside, so it gets a little cozy sometimes. But the main thing is when you're looking for your RV, the living space and all of its layout and everything has to work for you, your family, and the way you travel. Yeah, the more the space feels like a home, the more comfortable you're gonna be, and you will not be on top of each other. I'm Margo, and I've been living with my husband in a very small space now for three years. And I, since we're living in a small, small space, it absolutely frustrates me when he leaves his shoes on the floor. We have a shoe rack right by the door. And I really love my husband, but I could just wring his neck for that. Hey, my name is Fred, and I've been living in an RV for three years with my wife, and I love my wife completely. However, there's one thing that really bothers me about her in this small space. We work in a home office side by side, and my desk is about a foot and a half from hers, and all day long, it's this. Hey, 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 just one thing. Either that she's standing up to look out my window at some fifth wheel whirling by, or somebody walking a dog, or something else that's getting her attention like a squirrel, and it gets a little aggravating, but I love my wife and I love RV. One of the most important things to remember when trying to survive in a small space like this is communication is key. Yes, communication is absolutely key in any relationship, but it's especially important while you're living in close quarters. That's right. You gotta make sure you talk about any issues that come up, any feelings you're having and anything like that, and you need to be open and honest with each other up front. Yeah, otherwise misunderstandings can happen and then resentment. And nobody wants that. So, my name's Napoleon, and I've been living full time for about four years in an RV. And while I love my wife, I can tell you that she has taken every cubby, corner, nook, cranny, and decided it's part of her closet. When she says she's throwing clothes away, she actually just moves them somewhere else in the RV that I don't typically look. But I still love my wife, and I love small living. Hi, my name is Sally Sunshine, and I have been living full time in my RV with my husband for two years. I absolutely love and adore him. However, living in a small space, and when he decides to be a man child and not wear his CPAP at night and start snoring, it does make me want to smother him with a pillow. But I do love him, so I don't. Another important thing to remember and consider in a small space. Is the actual space is limited in an RV, so it's really important to respect each other's personal spaces and boundaries. Absolutely. Everybody, even a sticks and brick mansion, needs their own time sometimes, whether that's one of you going for a walk alone and taking Maya with us, or we do have separate bedroom and living space, so spending time in a separate room watching different shows. My name is Francesca, and I've been full-time RVing for four years. And my husband and I live in a really small space. I love my husband, but there is one thing that really annoys me about living in a small space with him. And that's that he scatters stuff all over my kitchen counter. Every single 
day and it annoys me a lot but i really do love my husband hey i'm candace and i've been living in an rv full time for three years with my husband I love my husband, but the one thing that really annoys me is in a fifth wheel, we have these stairs that go up to the bedroom. He wants to sit on the stairs to put his shoes on. And then I'm stuck up in the bedroom getting ready, but then I get ready before he's done putting his shoes on and I want to go back downstairs. He's like, no, you just have to wait. So I'm just standing there, just watching him tie his shoes. And I'm like, could you go any slower? And then sometimes I make it like an Olympic event and try to crawl over him just to get back downstairs. But I really love him and love living in an RV. And don't forget to regularly schedule a date night or outings. It's important to maintain a romantic re aspect of a relationship, even in a small space. It can be done. Hey everybody, I'm David Danger, and I've been living in my RV with my wife for almost four years now. It's tight spaces, but one thing that I do really get bothered by are her night terrors. Waking up 2, 3 in the morning, hearing her screaming at the top of her lungs, I can't fall back asleep until I finally do, but that is the one thing that I cannot handle. Night terrors. Oh. Hello, I know you don't know me, but my name is Jack Squat and I've been living in my RV with my beautiful and loving wife in this small RV space for two years. And although I love her dearly, the one thing that really drives me nuts is when she pulls out the yoga mat, lays it on the living room floor and starts doing yoga. Not only does it take up all the room so I can't move around, but she's also interrupting my TV watching. I want to kill her sometimes, but I'm not gonna because I love her. Lastly, don't forget to be patient and understanding. Living in a small space like this can be challenging at times, but it can also bring you closer together if you approach it correctly and have a sense of humor. Yes, please keep in mind that if you're having relationship issues and problems before you move into an RV, they're not going to go away just by moving into an RV, and they might even make the matters worse being in a small space. A healthy, happy relationship is something that you need to work on every single day, whether you live in a house or an RV. But remember, with hashtag positive RV living and a positive attitude, you can make a huge difference living in a small space like this. And we hope that some of these tips will help you maintain a healthy relationship while living in an RV. And we have done this video as a part of a collaboration with our friends just rambling around our RV Sunsets, RV Wagon Tales, Camping with the Comfers, RV America, and the Roadsmiths. So please head over to those channels for more tips on living in a small space, and I'll put the link to all of their videos in this description as well. And we gotta give a huge shout out to our friends that helped us make this video, the Border Hookups, Broken Dreams Reborn, and the Wandering Shores. Thanks again. And we promise that nobody was hurt during the making of this video. Well, yet. Yeah. Yeah, maybe later. Uh, but don't also, if you did like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't. If you have any small space living tips that you would like to share with the community, make sure that you drop them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. It really helps our channel. And ring that bell so you get notified when our next video is out. And don't forget to wear that blue on Tuesdays to support law enforcement. Hashtag True Blue Tuesdays. Um, we're doing this all this year. And we hope you join us in wearing blue on Tuesdays. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Happy and safe travels. Sorry, because I was too close to you. And you almost hit me in the eye. So how do you make the most out of this contact? Contact. Because <laughs> you just touched my boob. Right. <laughs> okay. Most important things to remember about... Maya, stop. Stop. That's enough. You're going to get kicked out. Every time I'm going to start talking, she starts barking. <sighs> You gotta stop that, Sir, sir, you need to stay behind the blur. Otherwise, we can't protect your identity. Okay. Sir, once again, stay behind the blur.